<laughs> hey, out there in the world, wherever you are, a big hug to you. My name is Severin, and today I would like to talk to you about why conspiracy theories are important. What? Yes, yes, why conspiracy theories are important. So, <laughs> right now we're in a special situation in life. I mean, really, like everybody's daily routine life, normal life has changed. And that's where some people actually call this not a pandemic, you know, where people die from the virus and from um, an infection that we're getting, but actually they call that an infodemic. And I find that a very interesting perspective because they say that the viewpoints that are being shared over Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, you know, YouTube, Twitter, wherever you are, that this leads to much more anxiety, you know, questioning the authorities, that this creates, will create more death than the virus itself. And I would like to speak a little bit with you about that, right? because I think we are right now in a moment where we have an abundance of information. And I would like that this video helps you how to deal with an overflow of information. I would also like that this um, video helps you to deal with conspiracy theories. And I would also like that this um, video helps you how to deal with different perspectives. So that's what I will speak. And I hope by the end of this video, you will come out and you will be able to digest the abundance of information without getting lost. And I think that's crucial in the time that we are in right now. It's important. I also hope that you are able to cope with the situation where we can not predict the next step. It's like an unpredictability. And the most important that by the end of this video, you will be able to find back to yourself. So by finding back to yourself, what I mean with that exactly, this will become clear to you if you follow me and this video to the very end and uh, what I want to convey in this message with you. So please, anything that feeds the algorithm, you know, that supports um, this video, that tells that I'm not just telling some rubbish, please support me, like, and whatever you want to do, please reach out. So right now, we are in a special time, and I think all of us, we are realizing that we are creatures of meaning. We are needing some meaning in our lives, and right now, we have been taking a lot of meaning away. Our normal life, like the way we make money, and especially the future, is unknown, and that leaves us in a place of vulnerability and insecurity, and we are connected to the World Wide Web, and therefore we are reaching out. We want to know what's going on out there. Why this virus? What's happening? So we are looking out for different viewpoints, for different perspectives, and very likely, very normally, we're coming across conspiracy theories. And when I speak about conspiracy theories, then I mean, for example, the moon landing, 9-11, the corn crops, Roswell, like flat earth theories and many, many others. But I'm not here to tell you, you know, more exciting details about them or even if they're right or wrong. I think they're definitely holding some truth and some of them are actually very interesting. And we probably will realize more in the future, which we didn't know yet on a collective level level. But it's absolutely normal, I think, to binge watch YouTube for a few days, you know, to kind of figure out more information of what's going on with this coronavirus. Like, how are people tested? How are people actually getting killed? Like, are they really dying from coronavirus or actually just with the coronavirus? We're trying to understand the stock market. We probably want to know how the health system is working in our countries, while other countries are facing that differently. So it's like you're watching and watching and watching until you come to a point where you're realizing, wow, this thing is so complex. This world that we are living in is so interlinked that you come into a place where you have to admit, I actually don't have an answer. That this thing is simply too big and life is so complex that I don't know. And by the time you have reached that spot, <laughs> that point of exhaustion, you probably also came across some very scary information and some conspiracy theories. And maybe, you know, for example, you have heard that this virus was created intentionally by the Chinese or by the States. Or you have heard that Bill Gates actually just wants, wants to reach mass vaccination. Or you have heard that this virus just was created to actually decrease the world population. Or this virus is here as a bioweapon. Or this virus is actually 
the effect of 5G, of the internet technology that is coming out. And I think, again, it's not, I'm not here to say this is right or wrong, but normally when we hear stuff like that, it hits us like a drug. And for a short amount of time, we feel like, oh my God, I have never thought about this. I never saw it in this perspective. And actually, it has some truth, maybe. And you feel some kind of superiority that you know more than the common people. And that common people, you know, like the sheep, the ignorant people out there are still doing what they're all doing and not knowing what they're walking into. But normally by now, like you are hit with some negativity. And before you realize you have lost faith in humanity, there is a world has become now a negative, corrupt and evil place. And even if that's true, that's really the sad thing. What can you do? Because you're not part of that 1% or have enough money, you know, to create a new party um, on a political level or you can change the whole world and that's where it's not about if if it's right or wrong it's not about finding an answer and it's exactly here where actually conspiracy theories have their biggest benefit why because they made you question the way you see the world they made you question your own reality and they could shake apart something that you were so convinced of by how the world functions and by now yes you are very in a negative state and uncomfortable but that's not where you want to leave and that's exactly where you have to realize what's actually even the more important part than the benefit of conspiracy theories. They just led you to this place. But now you have to understand where attention goes, energy flows. And that's such a simple sentence and it's so hard to do. And I will share with you more in the future with more video um, about my meditation practice because that's something I'm constantly coming back to. Like how I have learned to actually not just understand that sentence but actually be able to do that, to shift my attention and therefore shift where my energy goes. And that's exactly it. By now you have probably lost your faith in humanity, in authorities and the economy. And what is left? Well, you are left. So therefore, a conspiracy theories are not negative, but they have woken you up to question your belief system, they have not replaced it with a new one, but right now we are realizing the only thing that really matters is you. And therefore you're supposed to really see that there is nothing you can change, but what you do can change is where your energy goes, by where your attention goes. And that means hopefully you realize by now that you have to do things that matter to you, that to bring the energy back to what you really care about. And that's maybe, you know, you go dancing, you, you play music, you make a nice meal for loved ones, or you, you spend in general more time with loved ones, you're watching a sunset, you know, you're, you're going for a swim, like basically whatever makes you happy, what is meaningful to you and what is important to you, you bring that into your life and you realize again that you are the creator of your own life. And that's exactly where this is an invitation to wake up for us and not to get lost and to care about what truly matters. To, so to face anxiety by acting not by talking more and speaking more about what could be, but actually doing what really matters to us and therefore shifting the attention. And actually, therefore, that's where the energy goes, the heart expands and we find some meaning even in difficult times like this. So I hope this helped you and I wish you a beautiful day. Goodbye.